Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited for today's video because I have quite a few new products to try out. Some that I picked up from the Sephora sale or some other brands that I have been looking at and sporadically picking up. But I mean, there's quite a few. And I'm quite surprised with how some of them turned out. But before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications to new videos. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. But if you want to see how I got this look using a bunch of new products, keep watching. Okay, so a whole bunch of new makeup, but today is a little bit different because I'm not using a new eyeshadow palette. Instead, I picked up the Danessa Myricks Color Fix Nudes. I picked it up in shade Nude 3. It may be too light. I talked about this in my Sephora haul. <laughs> if it is, then I will reach for one of my shadow palettes and deepen it up a little bit. But I also have an individual eyeshadow from Moira. This is the Lucent Cream Shadow in the shade Jupiter. This swatch is super sparkly. So we're gonna go ahead. I have I have a couple other shades of these just kind of like in wine shades I guess this is desert rose really pretty shade and oh I have another one I also have the one in chocolate so maybe I could use this to deepen up a little bit if I remember correctly this has like pinky undertones but we're gonna keep it simple I'm just gonna pop this right here in the crease area and with a fluffy brush Yeah, I went too late. I guess I gotta go to Sephora and get a darker shade. Oh man, that kind of sucks. Because I do like the cream shadows. I would use the ones from Huda Beauty all the time. They're super easy to just kind of like blend out and be a good base. Okay, well, I failed. That's the one thing when you're ordering online. Sometimes you just can't tell the swatches. All right, well, this is one I'm glad that I have this one in chocolate. This one I'm gonna put on the back of my hand just because it is darker and I wanna have a little more malleability with it. It does have some red undertones, but I'm gonna take my compacted smudger ever so slightly, place it and then blend it. It's pigmented, so I just wiped off the rest of it. It dries down quickly, but I do like the cream shadows that Denise Myers has put out. There's not any extra product on here. It's just that same nude three shade. And just kind of smoothed out the edge. Really pretty. I like how that worked out. Super easy to use. I have been using a lot of like cream shadows, the ones from Luxaza, Denise Myricks. If you want to try them out, you know, Luxaza is affordable on Amazon and these are at Sephora. So going into Jupiter, I'm just going to pick this up on my ring finger. Ooh, look how wet and icy that is. Such a beautiful shade. And then I want to pick up a whole bunch more. <laughs> Moira has been surprising me and I really, really like their products. No extra product on the compacted smudger. I'm just going to finesse the edge a little bit. So we need to start working on face and I have the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. I just bought the mini because I have a drawer of primers and if I like it, maybe I'll buy a bigger size. But... I need to get through some of the ones that I have already. So I just got a mini. So there's not really a scent to it. And that is what it looks like. Just a cream. But it's supposed to smooth out and make my pores and lines disappear. Which I will take all the help I can get. It does feel really nice and smooth on the skin. Now, do I think it smoothed everything out? Oh, it does look like it's smooth right here. Now for foundation, I have the MAC Studio Fix Everywhere All Over Face Pen. So I had originally seen this released on Trend Mood's Instagram and I thought it was gonna be released on MAC's website. 
it wasn't. It was released on, I think, Macy's. So that's how I tracked it down. I also got the wrong shade. They were willing to switch it out for me. This is shade NW25. I will tell you right now, in talking to the person that helped me at MAC, they do not cross between the different formulations the same colors because I bought the same shade that I have in the regular studio fix not anywhere near it it was super pale so they were able to color match me in store but it's actually pretty decent sized and then that's what it looks like so there's a twisty and then you start pushing it and eventually it's going to start pushing product out but you can see it come through right there so I don't know how much I need. Usually I put it onto my brush. So we'll start there. A much better color shade match. It also oxidizes. The other thing was there wasn't a huge range. I mean, it's not a bad range. It's just not every single shade. And from what we were talking about and discussing is this is supposed to replace like the waterproof like all day sweat proof formulation. Okay, it's smoothed out. I may need more, but we're just gonna do the entire face first. Cause I did also pick up the powder. Cause <laughs> back in the day when I was in high school, it, it's really weird. Like I hold it like it might be a syringe or something. <laughs> when I used Studio Fix for high school and my early days in the Navy, I was setting my foundation with a powder foundation because that was the thing. Like there wasn't really a translucent setting powder and I wasn't purchasing loose setting powder. It's easier to have a pressed foundation compact that's a similar shade or same shade and just set it all. <laughs> so that was what I would do is I would use the liquid foundation and then set it with the powder foundation. My skin looked great and it wore well, but, but I didn't know anything about setting powders for like the longest time. I feel like I'm starting to see my pores come through here. I know I'm not using a lot of foundation because I'm like slowly pushing it out the tube, but I feel like I'm using a lot of foundation. It doesn't feel super heavy, feels very much like the regular formulation. It's smoothed out and this is just one layer. I do have from Patrick Ta the Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. So because it is a cream contour, I think I'm gonna use that first, then do my concealer, powder, and go from there. I don't have a new concealer, so I'm gonna have to grab one of those out of the drawer. All right, so I got mine in the shade She's Sculpted, which is kind of like the medium shade. All right, just using my angled contour brush. I only dipped in slightly, so I don't know how much I need. Uh, I'm gonna try light-handed and then work my way up. Ooh, that's actually really, really nice. That is very natural looking. And it's just subtle. So I could build this as little or as much as I want to. Very subtle, toned. For concealer, I just grabbed my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. Additional products I'll link down below as per usual, but I have been rediscovering and loving this because so you don't need a lot and then of course we're going to use the mac studio fix this is in the shade medium this is the pro set and blur This is a very like fine milled. All right, before I set the rest of the face, I'm gonna go into the creamer contour a little bit more. Just right here. I'm really liking how this is looking right now. I 
it's very smooth even when I wasn't so sure about the primer. Let me go ahead and bronze real quick since we're already on this step. So going into this bronzer. So this is very light and subtle. I could probably go up a shade. But I'm not mad at it. I really do like this. It's very like buildable. Let me go ahead and do the under eye before we go on to blush and highlighter and everything else. That way I can also like wash my hand off. Now, I would go in with Nude 3, but I know it's too light. So I'm just gonna go in with the shade Chocolate and ever so slightly because it's pigmented. So just on the back of my hand with my small blender brush, just picking up the slightest amount because you can easily mess this up and I'm just gonna place it along the lash line before we blend out so easy so simple like perfect if you have not tried these out what are you waiting for so easy the easiest most defined like smooth shadow i'm going to pick up the slightest amount not a lot and just on the outer edge our concealer might have been a little bit weird i i quite like this super simple i wish i could wear this to work it is not in my color tones just because the chocolate shade actually has a lot of red undertones i couldn't wear it to work but i'll probably end up at sephora picking up another like brown shade so that I have something I can use for work. Now for blush. We have the two from Jaclyn. I picked up the shade Plush Pink and then also Plush Punch. Let's see, which shade do I want to use? Oh, look at that doe foot applicator. Dang. <laughs> All right. So there is Plush Pink and Plush Punch is the orangey shade. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. Holy pigment. I think I'm gonna go with the pink shade because that one is very orange. I was looking for something that was like peachy. That is orange. All right, so plush pink it is. Don't know how this is gonna apply and we're just gonna cross our fingers and we're gonna go with the slightest amount and the bottom of my sponge and it disappeared okay it's building all right we didn't get up go into heavy so i put some on the back of my hand see if maybe that works better this is a dampened sponge so it is gonna kind of diffuse things out and disperse it, but we're flushed. <laughs> to tone it down a little bit, I am gonna go back in with some powder. All right, so I just grabbed my powder and we're just gonna put this on top. Not a lot, just a little. Highlighter, and I'm really excited for this because I have it in the lighter shade and I knew I needed the darker shade. This is the Cali Ray Highlight in Moonlight Beach. Absolutely love this. This highlighter is beaming in the lighter shade and I got it in the more golden tone, so I'm really excited for this. Can you tell? <laughs> I am gonna go ahead and put it in my inner corner. The only thing, it does not have a mirror. I mean, it sank in, so I guess you could put one in there if you wanted to. But that's a lot of work and that's why I keep a mirror on my table. Ooh, look how icy it is and that's just in the inner corner. It's so beautiful and of course the cheeks because duh. 
Look at that. I don't want to jinx myself, but like, I'm having a good makeup day. Have you tried this highlighter out? Oh my goodness. If you like a beaming highlighter, like, this is it. Mm. I don't know that I needed both of these, but I'm glad I got them. I've got to go ahead and do brows, and I'll start them with you guys. But I picked up the Melt Perfectionist Brow Ultra Precision Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I love this packaging. It's just that, like, matte, smooth, suede feel. That makes sense. All right, so it does have a spoolie and then a very nice fine tip. It is kind of like a triangular angle. Push everything up so you see your lines a little bit better. So this has a fine tip towards the top. I'm gonna use that, put it against my nose and get the starting point for my brows. Look at that, that's just so easy to fill in. It's not like a super creamy formula. I don't like that because I tend to make a mess if I do too hard of a pressure. This has just like the nicest tip on it to just draw nice and finely. It's just, it's building so beautifully. Let me go ahead and do the rest of it. I am going to use the new Danessa Myricks line work in Onyx. And then I also have the MAC mascara, which I'll come for, and then of course lips. Okay, liner's done. I use the Danessa Myricks line work liquid eyeliner. This has a bristled tip, not a felt tip, but it went on so smoothly. It went on so easily, didn't tug, didn't pull, and I was able to get a really nice thin inner corner, and then a nice tail. We'll see how it progresses. Sometimes bristles can splay out and then it doesn't matter what you do. You're just not gonna get a thin line, but so far so good. Now for mascara, I have already gone ahead and curled my lashes. I have the MAC Stack Mascara. Packaging is quite interesting. I think it's really pretty. And then quite an interesting brush. It's very spiky looking. I will go in with at least one coat before I do two or three if we need that many. But in the past, I really liked Max mascaras. That is literally pulling all my lashes apart. That is so nice. I just, I don't think you can really see it. I think it's when I turn my head this way that you're able to see them really. Go ahead and do the bottom. That is just one coat. One coat, nothing. You can't even see these lashes. They're just blonde. They're light brown. <laughs> All right, that is one coat on both sets of lashes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and see what it looks like with two. I don't know that I needed a second coat. I don't think I need a third coat, but this mascara is delivering. If you haven't been here before, if you haven't heard my spiel about my eyelashes, I am very lucky to have thick eyelashes and long eyelashes. Mascara just makes them more dramatic. I can't guarantee you're gonna have the same if your eyelashes are short or thin, but this is just my eyelashes, no false eyelashes. I don't wear them that often. I have them, I have a drawer of them. I just, I like what mascara does with my natural lashes. Have you tried this? What are your eyelashes like before you use it? I'm interested because everyone has a different experience with some mascaras. Some people love and just that is their go-to type of mascara. And then some people absolutely hate that type of mascara. So we all have our preferences. Last, we have the Locked Kiss Ink from MAC. I have it in shade Bodacious. It's a really pretty pink shade. I picked up, or I picked out my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Liner. 
Um, I think it's the same shade, if not similar. Do I need to line my lips? Probably not. Am I going to do it anyways? Yep. Do you guys see twitching? My eyes have been, like this eye has been doing that. It's been twitching and like. Okay, so this is the doe foot applicator. I don't even know what I was trying to do prior to that. And let's see. It's a little bit darker than the pillow talk. I'm okay with that. I really like this shade. <laughs> it's kind of, actually, this probably would have been a good shade match to my Huda Beauty, is it pinky brown? Like, if you're trying to find a lip liner, that's probably the one. It is giving me very plump, full-looking lips. Okay, you guys, this is the final look, and I am really liking how my makeup turned out today. Dare I say it, this is a good makeup day. I don't think I really had any fails. I might have almost failed with my blush, but <laughs> we saved that. My skin looks so nice. I like how my eyes turned out. I did use cream products, and the shade that I got from Danessa Myers, I picked out the lighter shade, and I need to go up a couple. So I'll definitely do that. I'm going to check out Sephora and see what shades that they have in stock. But I do like using that chocolate shade. Mm, it is quite beautiful. And then the Moira on top of it, so easy. The lips, this looks so nice. They just look like big pillowy soft lips. Even like my lines down here, they like smoothed out. If that's what you're looking for, like this is a nice lip liquid lip because it did dry down there's no transfer you guys i am really liking this let me know your thoughts have you picked up any of these products are you planning on picking any of them up let me know what works for you what some of your favorites are if there's any that things that i should try that i haven't tried recently let me know in the comments but you guys that is it for this video thank you so much for watching if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button down below Hit the bell for notifications to new videos. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.